Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So here's an update on my Salamangre deck. I finally got my hands on two copies of Pyro Phoenix, so I finally managed to put this deck back together. And I decided to go a slightly different route with this deck. Um, and honestly, like, as I mentioned in the past, there's almost no wrong way of playing Salamangre. You can build this deck almost however way you want it. The only key thing is that the, car, like, the deck's not as cheap as it used to be now that Gazelle's at one, Circle's at one. So, like... Sign up mining, though, is an expensive card. It is a really good card to pick up on. And if you don't have access to that card, you can always play cards like Sign Up Backdoor, which is an alternative option if you don't have Sign Up Mining. But anyway, I figured I'd just show you guys what I got this time around. And yeah, so let's go and get started. All right, so for the main deck, got to play three copies of Foxy. It's not a bad starter. And the fact that you don't even have to use his effect when you normal summon so that's also good so like if you just want to use them for as, as an extender piece like you know uh summon it out link it off of bay links without using its effect then use his graveyard effect to bring him back that's actually pretty good too but overall i do like the fact that he is a pot of duality for the deck and the fact that he can also out floodgates is really strong the only thing is just like you can only use one of his effects uh once per turn so that means one or the other so that's why like you have to play really smart now with foxy uh, next, three spinning. That's standard. You know, it's a really good extender piece as well. And the fact that it just helps you uh, get into Mirage Stally a little faster. Uh, that's one of the great things about spinning. I'm playing two Jack Jaguar. The point of running this at two now is that it plays the grind game. You know, he's the best way to recur your resources. And honestly, most people will always try to DD crew or call by the grave him. So definitely want to run it at two. That way you have a backup play. So, yeah. And of course, the uh, staple one of's got one gazelle, which sadly is uh, one. Who knows? Maybe one day it'll it could come back to three if we can find a new deck that's even stronger. But who knows? Uh, one foul, and then of course one falco, and that's it for the salad monsters. Now we're moving on to the cyber engine. Uh, three flame buffalo, the pseudo salamander. It is a fire attribute, and it can go into bailings, which is great. Uh, it's your pot of greed. Uh, if it's sent from field to the grave, uh, send one Cybers monster from your hand to the grave and draw two cards. So it's a good way to dig into your cards and get all your resources. I'm only running one copy of C, car C Archiver. You could run two if you wanted to. Uh, I just wanted to, I just liked it better at one so far. So that's just my theory with it, but I could always bump it back up to two if I want to later on. But it's kind of a pseudo spinny. Uh, if a monster summoned to a link arrow, you get to special summon this card, so it's a free body. It's another level 3 to go into Mirage Stalio, so... Yeah, and one thing I forgot to mention about this deck, this deck is really good at chain blocking. So, like, you use Flame Buffalo for Bay Links, uh, you make Flame Buffalo chain 1, Bay Links to search out the field spell at chain 2. Uh, it's like, it's really easy to avoid cards like Ash Blossom. But this deck is very prone to uh, Nibiru, which luckily I do have ways to out that, but we'll get to that momentarily. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to my hand traps real quick. Uh, for the hand traps, I'm running three Ash Blossom. Wouldn't be a salad deck without this. It is a recurrable hand trap, thanks to uh, Sunlight Wolf. Three Effect Favor, only because I don't have any uh, permanents and it's just a cheaper option. But against the Mirror Match and Orcus, DD Crow is the one I really want to go with. And honestly, I think it's a good choice. So, like... If you don't, and also I don't have Phantasmae, so that's just kind of like filling in the shoes because of the fact I have no Phantasmae. But honestly, I don't think you 100% need the card. It's great to have, but um, honestly, your hand should always be good at all times anyway, so I think this hand trap lineup is just fine. Alright, so that's pretty much it for my monsters. Now, moving on to spells. Um, starting off with Silent Mining, of course, you know, it's your main searcher of the deck. Uh, three, Will of the Salamangrate. This is one of the cards that helps you out in Nibiru because, you know, like, if you get hit with it, uh, you can use Will to recover and still go full combo. Um, so, yeah, like, Will is just like a Monster Reborn and Soul charge S card, so just a great way to extend. You also got cards like Salamangrate Circle that acts as another searcher. Uh, one Salamangrate Sanctuary. Um, you know, just your main field spell, the fact that you can relink the monsters with the same name, so that's really good. Uh, for my main source of backward removal, I'm running two copies of Cosmic Cyclone. I think this is starting to become a staple for Salamangrates now, so uh, definitely give it a shot, you know, see how you like it. I'm only running two Call by Great, the fact that, you know, we still have Impermanence, we still got Nibiru. 
uh, called by the great cast off it. And plus, I've had multiple occasions where I've actually opened up with all, with at least two of these cards. So that's why I bumped it down to just two rather than three that I had it before. And as another extender piece, uh, one copy of Monster Reborn. I've actually seen a lot of builds start running this now because it just acts as a fourth copy of Will. And in case you do use Will's effect, uh, after you get hit with Nibiru, you can play Monster Reborn to get yet another monster out. Or you can summon out a monster from your opponent's graveyard and just extend from there. Uh, moving on to traps already, I'm running two copies of Roar and one copy of Rage. Uh, the reason for two Roars is like it has self-recursion, but you have to banish it. And I don't want to lose it forever, so I always want to have a backup one just in case. And Rage, you know, just the fact that it's recurrable too. So I'm not running Pot of Desires. Uh, every time I run that card, somehow it doesn't work well for me, especially because you do have quite a few one ofs, and you don't want to lose your one ofs in this deck. So that's just my personal uh, reason not to run it. So yeah. Oops. Sorry, guys. I accidentally bumped the camera there. All right. So now we're moving on to the extra deck. Let me go and adjust that. All right. So for the extra deck, of course, I'm running the standard Salamangri Link monster lineup. Running three copies of Bay Links. This gives you access to your field spell. It also acts as a return of the Dragon Lord-esque effect where you can protect your Salamangri cards. So not just the monsters. Next, we got Sunlight Wolf, which, of course, is your primary source of recursion. Brings back your fire monsters. And it brings back your Salamangri spells and traps as long as it was linked with itself. Uh, two Heat Leo, of course, you know, to bounce back back row. And the fact that it... It's a good way to enable the OTK. You weaken your opponent's monsters with the monsters attack points that's in your graveyard. So you can target Ash Blossom, for example. And it's pretty much self-explanatory at that point. And of course, my new addition. Uh, two copies of Pyro Phoenix. If it's linked with itself, uh, you can destroy all cards your opponent controls. And it's also really good for time because it burns your opponent too. So if a Link, if li if a link material is special summoned to your opponent's field... Uh, you can target one of those monsters, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack strength. So, Pyro Phoenix is really good. I really like what he can do. Uh, for my other Link monsters, of course, I'm running Kita. Again, really good for the mirror match. Uh, one Nightmare Phoenix. Uh, the fact that you can co-link it with Pyro Phoenix, which is why I like to run this card now. It's like you bring out Sunlight Wolf, then Pyro Phoenix after, and then Phoenix. You give yourself full-on protection right there from battle. And, of course, you have the Bailings effects, which protects your monsters from destruction regardless. So, yeah. I'm also running Appaloosa. It's another good way to avoid cards like Nibiru. In fact, it is actually very possible to make this card very early on in your turn if you can if you can manage to go that route. But, yeah, if you go into Bailings and, of course, go into Appaloosa last, uh, you should be able to, you know, stop Nibiru. Uh, I'm also running Abyss Dweller, you know, just to deal with graveyard effects. But, of course... Always got to have that one Mirage Stalio just to bring out your Salamangrave monsters faster. And it's recurrable, so I think one is more than enough. Alright, so that's it for the extra deck. Now we're moving on to the uh, side deck. I had to change out my side deck quite a bit. I'm actually running the Artifact uh, Lancia, of course. And just in general, the uh, Artifact Engine. I'm running one Scythe, and of course, to go with these guys, uh, three copies of Artifact Sanctum. I'm only running two Nibiru on the side, just because, you know... It's just a kind of a going second card. And plus, like, if you go first, or if your opponent forces you to go first and you ended up citing this in, it can be a, a situational card. But if you are banishing to go second, this card can really shine, especially if you comboed off with enemy controller. So I figured that was going to, I figured that'd be the best side to go with. I'm also running two copies of Twin Twisters, which is really good for more back row strategies. You know, like, if you're up against, like, a sub terror deck. Uh, they, you know they're going to try to hit you with as many floodgates or stun cards as they can. So having both Cosmic and Twin Twisters in the main is not a bad thing. And then lastly, two copies of Shared Ride. And I figured this was good enough. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this update, and I will catch you guys again next time.